Do you want to learn how to make your own LED dot matrix 8 into 8 based moving display system? Then watch this tutorial from start to the very end because at the end of this tutorial you will be able to make a moving display system that can be controlled from the computer through a specially designed application and visual basic. Hi guys, my name is Fahad and welcome to Electronic Clinic. If this is your first time here and you want to learn Arduino programming, PLC Later Logic programming, SCADA application designing, SOLIDWORKS, Visual Basic application designing and programming, from microcontrollers to send and receive data, Android, security systems, robotics, image processing and much more. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so that you never miss anything. Welcome back my friends. This is the Max 72198 into 8 dot LED matrix module that we will be using today. As you can see over here, we have a total of 5 pins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now the green one is the clock which is CK and the yellow one is the CS and the third one is the DN which stands for the data in and this is the ground and this one is the VCC 5 volt and likewise on this side these are the output pins is this one is the clock so this one is the clock this is the CS so this is the CS over here this is the DN which is the DN but over here this is the D out and this is the ground so this is the ground and this is the 5 fold so this is the 5 fold this is the row and this is the column and total we have 64 LEDs is it's 8 into 8 and this is the max 7219 chip so my friends as you can see on the screen this is the complete connection diagram as you can see the clock will be connected with pin 10 of the Arduino and the CS which is the yellow wire is connected with pin 11 of the Arduino and the DN which is the data in will be connected with pin 12 of the Arduino and the ground will be connected with the ground of the Arduino and the VCC will be connected with 5 volts of the Arduino but if you are using more than 3, 4 or 5 Make seven two one nine eight into eight dot matrix modules. Then you are supposed to power these up using the external power supply. So how we actually connect many Max seven two one nine eight into eight dot matrix modules? Well, this is really simple. If you can see over here, we have a clock. So this pin is clock, and this will be connected with the clock of the other one. This is the yellow wire and which is a CS so this one is a CS and this will be connected with the CS of the another one over here this is the DN but over here this is the D out so the D out of the first module will be connected with the DN of the next module and the ground and five folds are connected the same way so we repeat the same connections so that's the overall connections once again the DN is connected with pin 12 of the Arduino, the CS will be connected with pin 11 of the Arduino and the clock will be connected with pin 10 of the Arduino. So this moving display system is based on the MAX 7219 IC. So my friends now we will do the connections as per the circuit diagrams as you can see the pins labeled with clock, CS, DN, ground and VCC. So the CL is connected with pin 10 of the Arduino and the CS is connected with pin 11 of the Arduino and the DN is connected with pin 12 and ground is connected with the Arduino ground which is the brown and the VCC is connected with, with 5 volts of the Arduino and over here you can also see that these are the pin number 10, 11 and 12 okay so now this display LED matrix is connected with this one and then the output of this one is connected with the input of this one so if you can see like this this the output of this one is connected with the input of this one so then I used it like this let me explain so as the, over here the first one is the clock over here also the first one is the clock the second is the CS, so the second is a CS. The third one is the DN, and over here the third one is the D out. So over here we have DN, and on this side we have D out, and then similarly the ground and the VCC. So 
the D out of this one will be connected with the DN of the, this one. So, and the D out of this one will be connected with the DN of the of this one. So, my friends, as you can see now, the interfacing is completed. The connections are a spur. The circuit diagram, which I have already explained in very detail. And now it's time to check this uh, circuit. I already have a program, so first of all we'll check this and then after that uh, we will start the explanation of the controller program and then after that I will, I will teach you how you can design a visual basic application. So my friends, now the Arduino is connected with the laptop and now let me write something hi guys. And you can see over here, hi guys. And now let me write something else which is uh, electronic clinic. Now I'm sending these messages from the computer serial monitor so now we will design our own visual basic application uh, and then you can see when I send a message it displays only one time and then there is nothing so now we will design such an application that when we write a message that message will be will be automatically sent to the Arduino again and again so so first of all I will now explain the controller programming and then after that we will start the the usual basic application designing so let's get started so my friends as you can see on the screen the Arduino is already connected with the laptop and this is uh, the code which is written for the max 72128 into a dot matrix and was originally written by Marcelo Moraes in July 9 2013 well he did a great job and I really like his code so I will provide this link in the description so that you can download this code well I uh, just uh, did a very little change in the coding so that I can uh, do communication with the uh, computer and also with the Bluetooth so in this tutorial I will show you how you can control the display using your computer application which is which we will be designing in Visual Basic you will need to download these uh, libraries and you will have to use these header files so first make sure that you download the library for the max matrix dot h and the software serial blue uh, to four we will be actually using this uh, in the upcoming tutorial when we will be sending a message from an android application to the display system so then we will be controlling display using the bluetooth uh, so this is the program uchar ch and okay so these are the pins the integer data equals to 12 which is uh, the data is which which is the d d n pin of the max 7219 module and this is connected to a pin 12 as i already explained this in the circuit diagram and the load which is also called the cs is connected to pin 11 and the clock 10 uh, which is connected with uh, the clock which is connected to pin number 10 of the Arduino integer max and use 3 so change this number this variable to set how many max 7 to 1 9 you will use as currently I'm using 3 so that's why it's 3 and max matrix then you pause these parameters and then these are string for example welcome to electronic clinic and these are other strings and a white setup so is our be doing serial communication with the computer application so that's why I am activating the serial dot begin 9600 but I'm also activating the blue dot begin so that I can also communicate with the Bluetooth module bus air but as I told you that uh, I will use Bluetooth in the upcoming tutorial so currently we will only focus on the serial communication with the computer then starts the wide loop and uh, we'll, we'll skip this code because in the upcoming tutorial we'll do that we will be using the Bluetooth so this is the if serial dot available will greater than zero c is equal to serial dot read so everything which is available on serial port save that in c and print character with shift so as we were sending characters so and this is the speed and for this we have a user defined function which is over here print character with a shift and if you are using a string then you will have to use print uh, string and if you are not doing the shifting so it will only display the string and if you are doing the shifting as well then uh, print string with 
shift then you will call this function and if you are not doing the shifting then you will call this function and if you are printing the characters then you will have to call this function which is very easy and uh, so that's it and now let's upload this code so now as you can see the the program is uploaded and now let's open the serial monitor and let's write something over here for example hi and you can see how I send. So the main problem is when I'm using a serial monitor when I send a message it is displayed only one time. Let's for example look at this one. Why? Because I'm using serial monitor and I have no control on timer. So that's why when we will be designing our own application then we will be having a complete control that how many times we want to send this and after how much time you want to send a string so uh, now we will start the application designing so let's get started so my friends first of all open the Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express click on the new project make sure that you select the Windows Forms application and then give it some name like moving display and OK Now we will need a text box. Click over here and select multi line. Okay, and we will also be needing a timer so that we can send a message again and again to the Arduino. So click here. Say so here is a serial port one and uh, so that's it and let's also add a label Send text to Arduino and moving display. So that's it. Now let's start the programming. Double click here. Okay, now let's start by importing the uh, libraries. So imports system.io as we'll be doing serial communication so we'll need these libraries for serial communication with the Arduino system.io dot ports okay so that's it and now uh, we will start programming for the the uh, serial port so form one load and now serial port one dot close so close a serial port if it's already open and then what to do serial port 1 dot post name equals to com5 then serial port 1 dot baud rate equals to 9600 serial port 1 dot data bits equals to 8 bit and serial port 1 dot dot parity equals to parity dot none and then we will be using serial port one dot uh, stop bits which is equal to 
stop bits dot one and then we will need serial port one dot handshake equals to handshake dot none and then serial port one dot dot encoding equals to system dot text dot encoding dot default and then finally a serial port one dot open okay so now we'll uh, do the uh, some coding in the timer so okay we also need a timer so here's a timer timer is added and let's uh, keep this as uh, five seconds so after every five seconds it will send that message to the uh, moving display and enable is true okay and double click and now let's write that uh, if you let's check this one if you check the name of this text box which is text box uh, one so we use this so serial port one dot write text box one dot text that's it so that's our program the programming is completed and now I will connect the Arduino and I will show you this in running so my friends as you can see on the screen the Arduino is already connected with the computer and now our programming is all also completed so now let's run this application and let me show you something that the timer value updated to 10 seconds so uh, let me again keep it 5000 and let's write some small messages okay so uh, for example let me write hi so after every five seconds it will automatically send this hi message to the arduino and it will be displayed on the moving okay so let's write something else for example uh how are you and now let's write something like so you can write anything one two three So my friends, I hope you like today's episode. If you have any question regarding this project or any other project, you can tell me or make a tutorial on that. Like this video, share this video with your friends and thanks for watching.